guys. You guessed it. With all the cow noises, we're at the sales barn and, uh, and check out and see what's here. You wonder if there's gonna be a horse this time? All right, we're gonna do a quick view and see what we can find. Any goats in there? I guess that's a goat play. Just a goat play? No. It's over there, man. Yeah. All right. The cows. We're not here early, are we? Yeah, so we're kind of late. But there's nothing here. Some sheep over there. Oh wow. It's empty today. It's empty today. They got all those trailers out there though unloading, but nobody's here. Gotta go look in the trailers to see if there's any horses in any of them. Well, that was the bus today. They had hardly any animals. Lots of cows coming in though. Mm -hmm. Lots of cows, but no horses, no minis, no alpacas this time, no. There's barely any alpacas. Yeah, barely anything. It's empty. Usually right now, it's uh, they usually start at 11, but there's no animals to start with. Anyways, that's it for the sales barn this week. Maybe next week, but the meat guy was there. That's the best part. Mm -hmm. Meat guy. I buy all my meat. Well, not all my meat, but I buy some meat there because he's got some special fancy meat that that I like and it's hard to get and it's cheap and it's cheap too yeah hey guys welcome to today's video it's the day after Halloween and we are all hump pumped we are all pumped up on sugar all of us not the horses though Gracie wants to come too she doesn't want her little baby to leave her sorry sorry but you can't here have a mint there you go. You deserve it. You deserve a mint for being such a good mama. Penny yeah. just keeps walking. I know. Doing? Penny's so good at walking her into the barn. I want to say Penny's I trained her to do it that way, but I think she Penny's just knew. Just, if you stop, I stop. Yeah. Which is, I mean, it's good, but... So, like, I walk in, I open the door, and I stand at the door, and Penny continues to walk all the way so that I can close the door. It works out well, but Honey stops when Sophie stops. Oh. Anyway, welcome to today's video. We're uh, late down at the barn. It was a long school day today. Math days always take longer. Anyways, uh, today is like a summer day. I can't get over it. So today we're going to take the horses for a walk and spend some time with them. One of my friends messaged me this morning and said, Hey, Laura, do you have a horse-sized muzzle? I'm like, of course I do. Remember, we have everything, and we bought. What kind of muzzle? Yeah, he didn't specify what kind of muzzle. I'm assuming he means because it's fall and everybody's horses are like chubby. Gabby's just giving it a quick clean, and he's gonna pick that up. And then you are going for a walk. Anyway, we're gonna show off our new foal. <laughs> That's what you do when you have a baby. Mom, come here. Just a sec, I'm coming. I have to put my boots on. I didn't put my boots on all the way. I just rushed down to the barn. Sophie's like a real mom. Like, look at what my baby's doing. Look at what my baby's doing. Let's see, sister. So I had a really long loose thing. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, she just stops. Yep, she heals like a dog. <laughs> She's really good, you guys. Uh oh. She's been really good. So. Tomorrow we're going to change it up again. We're ready to move forward with the introduction of the horses. Who are we going to add to them tomorrow? Willow. Not Willow. Willow is the worst. Willow. We're going to add Penny tomorrow. Oh, Penny. Penny. Go underneath Penny. Penny will not bother a horse that doesn't bother her. Whereas Willow just wants to charge she's her. A baby. She won't bother Penny. Babies bother people. No, she's not like that. I'm like that. Did you give her a brush? Yeah, last time she slid, so she's a little nervous. Good girl. That's why I'm fine with her running down it, because she knows she's not allowed to run down it. Yeah, sometimes they run down when they're like, when it's slippery. They're okay. Good girl. She's scared to go down. Yeah, so the last time she had a scary experience, because it was 
There! See, it's slippery for her. See? Sorry, God, it looks like somebody threw hay out here. Oh, it must just be old grass. Hey, did you know your friend left? Tino's long gone and you're still hanging out here. Whoa. What was that about? Looks like she needs a, another brush. That's one thing about having your horses at home. You can brush them every day. Come on. All right, Pen, look. There's a baby. Oh gosh, I don't know if he'll comfortable. Penny, say hi to baby horse. Penny, be nice to baby horse. This is Penny's reaction, always. She just ignores them. Uh-oh. She just ignores them unless they bother her. She's not gonna chase her off or anything. Oh. Okay, pull them away. Good girl! Ugh. Good girl! Tomorrow, we're gonna add Penny to the group. Look at all the, first of all, look at all the, yeah. All right, so we're gonna go for a walk. Just gonna finish brushing Penny. And then we're gonna take some of the horses for a walk. We're gonna just take, you guys know how Gracie and Penny and Chino went for trail riding, we're gonna try. We're gonna take the others, plus Chino, because Chino really needs to go. We're gonna take them for a walk. We're gonna leave Gracie and Penny home. So this is an issue that we have on our farm. I don't know if you guys have that this on your farm. Probably not, especially if you're like a lesson barn. But we all have our horses. We all have our own horses, and we all take care of our own horses. So Penny's used to me, and. Chino's used to Gabby, and Sophie's horses are used to her. So when one of us is gone someplace, then when somebody else has to take care of our horses, they're they're never bad, but they always... They're good. Yeah, they're, they're good. Like mom tries to lead any of her horses. Well, Chino, I find him really hard, but I make him listen to me, so I don't find him like impossible but he doesn't want to listen to me the way that my horse would just naturally know because she's so used to being handled by me he's a big horse and he like are you okay walking him do you think well he doesn't run away when he runs away he reaches the end of the lead rope and turns around and hides behind you. <laughs> yeah but it's the hiding behind you gene that he has he hides behind you i don't like that you out of the way to hide behind you yeah so wait coat. is that my coat Oh, okay. You can dirty it then. I wasn't. I'm cleaning it. Oh, sorry. Okay, so we're going to take these guys for a walk. But that, So this is where I'm going with this whole conversation. I think that since Honey is a baby, we should all interact with her. Anybody who's going to like have to work with her sometimes, we should all interact with her. And Sophie doesn't want that because she hates us bonding I'm with her. I'm not doing that. <laughs> yeah. Kelly doesn't care. She's like, I don't, I don't need to hold on to her, but I want to spend time with her. So, oh yeah, hoof pick. So, essentially, we're taking the two minis and Chino for a walk, and, and both my Sophie really wants to walk Willow because Willow is her dream. Like Willow is her heart, and then Honey is her dream. So she wants to walk both of them. But I'm like, I'm watching. I'm, I want to walk the baby. So she's gonna try and lead them both. They've never introduced each other. Like they've never been introduced, except for through uh, a fence. So uh, we're gonna figure it out and we're gonna take you guys along with us. But comment below and take a vote. Like, do you think that Honey should interact with all of us or anybody who's gonna be responsible? I'm already the most responsible for her. But yeah, you know. you're good. Oh, Sophie's really good. I really hate the yellow ones, but you can have one. That's candy, Sophia. Huh? What's his favorite candy? So it's true. Like you're her heart, and Honey is her dream. So we're just gonna figure it all out. Willow's definitely getting old. I see lots of like white hairs around her eyes. But ponies, ponies age slower. Ponies. She just gave you her back foot. I started hugging every leg, but she knows his breath smells like the candy. It smells good though. Well, that's good. He's like, all right, I'll go anywhere for candy. He literally just tried to eat my shirt when I got too close. But now, cause he had I really don't want to give him my arm. Like, why are you saying give him my arm? Because you'll bite it. Yeah, I don't want him biting my arm. You'll bite your sleeve. 
Yeah, he but he's gentle. Mm, his breath does smell good. Mom, you know what honey reminds me of? What does honey remind you a of? A yellow sour patch kid. A yellow sour patch kid. What does Willow remind you of? Um, chocolate. Chocolate. All right, you're gonna hold her for a sec. Mm -hmm. Let them both. Um, for the record, I think that's not. A, I think that's a bad idea. I think that we should. I should walk the bus. The mini. The baby. If I could run with you And from what I have heard You do the same thing too I wanna stay forever We could be good together Guess misery loves company Better to lay Sophie says I can walk her, as long as I don't make any mistakes, teach her any bad habits. I remember the very first time we ever went out on this road and went for a walk. I remember the time Chino, Gabby trotted Chino on this road. And everybody was like, I remember when Chino trotted on this road before and everybody was so upset because they thought Gabby trotted on a concrete road. But really, it's like dirt. You can see it even better there. Little puddle. I remember Stella on this road with us. There's some cars coming, so we're gonna. Buttery grass. Yeah. We look here. It's okay. You're okay. Thanks for slowing down. Another car. You're okay. You're okay. It's a car. Oh, yeah. Thanks for slowing down, because that's what we do. All right, there's another one. Willow, running into me is not nice. <laughs> Honey didn't run into me, but she spooked. She spooked today twice when my friend came. Because, um, when our friend came, he zipped up his zipper, and apparently she's never heard zippers before. Is it We're gonna wait for the next car. Slow down. Look, it's okay. It's just because she's not used to cars being right up next to her. Yeah. Willow wasn't used to it, that's why she spooked the one time, because she wasn't prepared. Yeah. Say, if anything's going to kill you, I'm going to protect you. <laughs> yeah. That's why I got Willow to come. That's why I said to Finny. It's just annoying if that... If anything's going to kill you, I will kill it first. It's just annoying that cars don't slow down. It's actually really peaceful, and Honey is uh, doing lots of hill work, which is really good for her stifles. Super good. Yeah, it's bad for us. Because who who likes walking up hills? Not me. <laughs> yeah, Willow loves this. Gracie loves this too. Here comes Gabby. We're just gonna stand in this little field. And because it's barreling. It's okay. It's okay. You're okay. It's okay. You're okay. Good girl. Yeah, you got it. Wow, it is a big truck and it's barreling. You got it. Good girl. Good girl, you're okay. Oh my gosh. What an idiot. All right, she did a lot better with... Uh... She feels good, she doesn't care. No, she did care, but it was me touching her and saying it's okay. <laughs> What'd you do to Willow? I have food. She heard the crinkling of the wrapper and she's like, yes. All right, let's go. Let's go. You go next. I've never seen Willow so chubby. All right, that's a lie. I've seen her this chubby. <laughs> Come by. <laughs> that's gonna be hard for her. You got it. Good girl. Yeah. All I know is that I need you in my life. Let me show you how it feels to roll the dice. You know you want it. Just say the word. Everywhere we go. We're hoping that taking Honey and Willow at the same time. Whoa, hey, not nice. too close. Not too close. I, I let them both at the same time. We're hoping 
that taking them both at the same time for a walk and doing something Willow loves will help her will help her associate positivity with honey. I don't think so though because I see I've seen her. Look, <laughs> forward Yeah. Yeah, she loves it. But I've seen her with new horses is what I'm saying. She's always the first one. Okay. Definitely won't, don't want to go too far. Just to the bridge and back, Abby, because we don't want Honey to get too tired. This is really good for Chino too to strengthen his hooves, to harden them up a bit. I think Being out here on like a harder. Wow, she's trying to keep up with Chino. Oh. notice that she starts to walk better and better or stifle gets a little bit more loose as she exercises and, got, and Sophie lots of times will back her up and that will really help so I definitely feel like all the exercises and our vet also gives extra exercises to do to strengthen like her belly and other parts of her body She's taking it all in. No, she has her ears pinned. I don't think so. Pin. <laughs> That's pin. She's like, I don't want to do this exercise. A trek and trailer just came, and I found that if I, I found that if I put my hands on her back and say it's okay, it's okay, she does really well with the trailer. Gabby says that Chino didn't care about us and the ponies at all until he got back in the property. Everybody who comes to like meet her or treat her or like do stuff to her, they're all like, oh my God, she's so sweet. I think they all are like thinking that she's gonna be this wild thing and then she's so gentle and so sweet and so like not argumentative. Each other? Good girl! Pet her again. Good girl. Good girl. All right, she's outside. Your girl's outside. We gotta clean up all the poo and we gotta brush her hair. And, I and you... Poo well, I see some. Well, oh. Obviously, they're not gonna go a whole day without pooing. Oh, yeah, well, you, when you see it, you can clean it. Gracie, I'm gonna take this away. It's empty. It's Willow's from this morning. It's empty. I'm gonna brush your hair too. Oh my gosh. I lost the mini. Watch out. <laughs> I have to go check her. All right, we are done at the barn. Gabby brushed Chino out, even though it wasn't ecstatic and much exercise for him. But then she packed his feet with this, this clay that is going to be like really helpful for him. His feet are doing great. We took him to lessons last week. You guys maybe saw. And uh, he did good. He got like... Seemed like he's a little sore by the end of it. We just did a short lesson with him because he's obviously just coming back into work. No jumping. But when he wears those boots that Gabby has for him, those scoop boots, man, he looks amazing. So she's going to try lessons again this week with him. And she's going to wear the scoop boots. And the scoop boots really seem to make the difference for him. So as his feet toughen up, that's the plan, you guys. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the